do today is perform a quick decon after a structural firefighting event. In order to do decon, we need to remove the biggest majority of the contaminants that we have on us. We're going to do a gross decon, followed by a short, what we like to call a uh, almost technical decontamination. What we've got here is just a plain, simple five gallon bucket with a lid. In that bucket, we keep a spray bottle with uh, soap already in it at about a you know one to 10% solution. Uh, an inexpensive brush, we cut the handle off on this one so it would fit in the bucket. Some departments have adapters and garden hoses that you could keep in your bucket, but the purpose of the bucket is to have it in your rig, ready to go, and as a reminder to, hey, maybe we need to get this out and start doing decon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a firefighter, we're gonna simulate going, well, actually we're not gonna simulate, we're gonna go through decon and scrub him down real good and remove all the contaminants. All right, so we're using a high pressure, low volume amount of water, quick head to toe decon, spin around, removing the bulk of the contaminants off. All right. Start at the top, soapy water. Face me. All right. Go ahead and pull the helmet off. All right. Face piece. Put your hair out. He's just, just doing like okay. that. Yeah. We want to make sure that we remove the hood because that is one of the weakest parts of our gear. It's uh, where most of the contaminants get into us is in our head and neck region. Head yeah. Can I start doing a leg like a yeah, dog? Yeah. Start... That's good. Just go ahead and rinse him down. Spin around. Let's give you good head to toe rinse. There Try not go. to get it all clean. over. All right, you go ahead and... All right. Yeah. All right, and then we're gonna follow this up. We've got individually wrapped uh, baby wipes that we'll take and pass out to our fire crews. They'll use those to go ahead and wipe off their head and neck region. After that, when we get back to the station, firefighter's gonna go take a shower and don clean work uniform afterwards. That gear is not completely clean. It needs to go through a gear extractor or be washed according to manufacturer's recommendations. So let's keep ourselves clean and keep ourselves safe, reduce the cancer uh, that we're coming in contact with. We decon after hazmat because it's an ideal H environment and some of the same products of combustion are left over in our gear. So we decon in hazmat, at least decon after a, a structure fire.